How's it going, everyone? Mana here. And today I'm super excited. I have Brad Ferris with me, a longtime friend and advisor. Hello, Brad. Hey there. So excited to do this because today's question is something that you're an expert at. And before I dive in, just to say, Brad works with agencies like mine. Um, and he uses peer learning and rapid feedback to get agencies from 1 million to 5 million, which is what we all want. <laughs> and 5 million plus. Let's not stop at 5 million. Oh, no, no, right? no. But by that time, you can handle it on your own. <laughs> yeah. And, and you've also, what I, what I love about you is you have this great big laughter. I think it's the best laughter in business. So anybody who, who gets the chance to meet Brad, I'm happy to make an introduction, but we're also going to drop your contact information in the description of this video. That's excellent. Thanks. So let's dive in. I got a question on LinkedIn uh, from Dan, and he said that they go through a lot of effort to hire marketing help mm -hmm. agents or employees. And it seems to produce zero results. He says, I've hired people in the past who promised great things and their actions failed to help. Mm. How do you find people that deliver what they promise and wade through all the snake oil salesmen? Mm -hmm. And we hear that a lot, <laughs> don't we? So what is the quick answer to this? And then we can dive into a longer so I think there's three things that you need to think about about that question. If you have made multiple hires and they haven't turned out well, is the problem more likely them or more likely you, right? So, right, if this is a repeated problem that you're having, that means that you probably need to change the way you're doing something in order to get a different result. So that's just the first thing I want to say there. Um, and then if you, from a quick answer, the thing that I see most commonly is that people aren't really clear about what help they want. Mm -hmm. And so they, they're like, I want marketing help. Well, but marketing could be anything from what should my logo look like to optimize my pay-per-click uh, cost per lead. Those are not the same people, right? And so being really clear about what you're looking for and then looking for people who have a track record of success at that. The best way to predict future performance is past performance. And so we want to find people who have done what we want to have done before. So that's the short answer. Now, I've heard you talk about this in allegorical terms. I've heard you speak uh, about an allegory of the casino and the gambler. Yes. Yes. Tell us more about that because I loved it when I read it and I think the, the people need to hear this. So a lot of clients, when, when we come to the point where we say, okay, it's time for you to hire some help. They're like, ah, oh, Brad, hiring is just a crapshoot. You know, like I just, I don't know what I'm going to get. And so either they don't want to do it because they feel like they're gambling. Or I had one client who's like, I just go out and hire four people and hope one of them's good. I'm like, Okay, that's a that's a, a strategy, you know, but it, it just doesn't seem like a great, you know, you're playing the lottery at that point. The difference between the gambler and the casino is the gambler is playing a game, right? The casino has a process that they're using that consistently produces money for them. And so if you want to be like the casino and not like the gambler, what you want to have is a consistent process where you do the same thing over and over again. And that process produces a, a consistent result. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I'm hearing you talk about here is mindset. Yes. And discipline. Yes. <laughs> 